Hey everyone, and welcome to the Strahov Fortress. Um, I am quite worried about this level, I'm not going to lie. I mean, most of it is okay, but it does have its moments, and the moments it has are quite worrisome. I, I will be honest there. So I got the large petty pack, and now I've triggered this bit, which is a timed sequence. Um, you don't actually, well, you, you only get one try to do it, but you don't have to succeed at it because there is an alternative if you uh, don't make it but we're going to try to make it because if I can make it then it will make me feel like a big boy and feeling like a big boy is very important in today's society okay I've made it which means I officially feel like a big boy happy me happy days so, yeah. yeah so obviously it now goes higher and you wouldn't have made the jump had you been too late. And then it moves and then, yeah. Obviously it goes out of reach. It goes out of reach quite early on. So there, there are people around here, but um... As long as you, as long as they don't notice you, they can't shoot you, right? Um, yeah, there is a bit. Obviously, there's a there's a bit with um, turrets that um, shoot you, and normally you would destroy them. And the way to do it is you have to go to a mechanism near where a guy is, and he's armed. And the bit can be very tricky because you can't kill him. And when you're trying to press action to see to the mechanism and go back down the ladder and stuff, very often you can instead get into fighting combat and it really messes you up, not to mention that you can be shot to death quite easily. However, there is an easy alternative, um, and I'm about to do it. If I can succeed at it. Instead, we jump, land on the truck, hopefully. Drop down. And go through here. Problem solved. Yeah, because normally you would have to have, there was a ladder I would have to have gone up and there's a guy in there with a gun and yeah, you have to press the mechanism and go back down the ladder and I mentioned how that can be difficult. Not to mention that there's then a massive ladder that we would have to go up where those two armed guys were and I, we, would, we just would have got shot to pieces to be honest. But, um, fortunately, uh, we were able to just jump down. We lost a bit of health from the jump. We may have got shot a bit, but trust me, that is the best way to go about that bit that I know of. So, um, all is okay at the moment. But obviously, there's two parts of this level, and we're now at the second part. Oh, yeah, this bit of the blocks, um,. Yeah, I was actually stuck on this bit because um, I didn't realise what you had to do and th there isn't much of a hint really, is there? I mean, you have you get a strength upgrade from pushing the block at the top into a specific position and in order to be able to do it you have to go to the side that I did and increasing. then pull it towards you slightly so you can then just get up there and do that. I don't think I ever would have sussed that out because I had to watch a walkthrough for that bit. Just there isn't really much there in, in regards to hints, but whatever. So yeah, Luddick was kind enough to help us out. Um, too bad for him that he's going to die in this level. Um. I guess had he not got involved, then he probably would have been okay. Um, but obviously, he chose to help us, and unfortunately for him, that's kind of the thing that results in his death. Because had he, had we not got involved with him, he may not have he may not have got killed. Yeah, so, um, yeah, um, we pulled the switch so that 
dangerous gas stuff is no longer going, so we're able to jump up onto here and go across and now drop down. The dogs aren't that much of a threat, really. Um, because we just come up this ladder and um, we don't actually need to touch the ground again. We can now just proceed. So yeah, we can now go through there. And um, this level actually has our second mandatory kill of the challenge. Um, the first was in Wancroy's apartment, and now we've got another um, coming up uh, not too far from here. And this is a bit where the dodgy controls are a massive pain, or at least for me. As you can see, I just, I'm accidentally going backwards, don't want to be doing that. And I'm sort of going against the wall somewhat, but at least I'm moving forward, so I'll settle with that. Yeah, the controls there are a massive pain, or at least for me, because I just end up going all over the place. Backwards, forwards, left, right. Just crawling on the spot, not really doing anything productive. It's a pain. And I'm doing it now. And Ludic's death is coming up. You can't keep me here. My paper will miss me if I don't report in. Found him skulking around in the loading bay. Must have got a passcode. Close the door on your way up, Gleason. I have records on you, Eckhart! You can't hurt me! If only there was time for us to read them together. But it's too late now. There are things to be done. <laughs> So you've seen that um, Eckhart is nothing to be messed with because you can see he is quite a dangerous individual and when he killed Luddick it was that same symbol that always gets left whenever um, somebody is killed by him. That guy down there is our second mandatory kill. And I'm the controls are screwing me over again. And be careful here, because it is possible to, instead of pointing the gun at him, you actually point the gun at something else, something you don't want to be pointing your gun at. It's okay, because we managed to sort it out. Yeah, he drops this item, which is mandatory for completing the level, so he had to die, unfortunately. And yeah, this bit up here is a bit I am quite worried about, admittedly. So this is a good point to save.
I wonder what needs that kind of security to keep it in. Wouldn't you know it? My route goes through that biodome. It's a long way round, unless I can shut the power off to that section. That's it. Better get moving whilst the grid's down. Protivník spozorován. Petrolets! <laughs> Okay, that was all a bit messy. I'll hold my hands up and admit to that. Um, and I probably have to um, try and explain and justify what I was doing there. But um, basically, what the plan was is I... Obviously, okay, this is... For some reason, this is playing really slow. Okay, it's gone, all, it's gone all slow and glitchy. Well, um... If I just, um, destroy this... Okay, it's going, all, it's going all slow and glitchy, it's probably where I was being shot and everything, but basically, um, I needed to get in and I needed to go over to that monitor thing, and the guy, the first guy, I wasn't too bothered if he was inside or outside. What I was trying to do is, um, I wanted to 
obviously after pressing them, after seeing to the monitor, I wanted to then get outside and I wanted them inside because they can't seem to open the doors for some reason. And by having them inside, I'm then able to do all of this, but without them shooting at me. So that was the plan all along. Get inside, uh, try and lose as little health as possible, um, go to the monitor, um, so I can do what I need to do, and then get outside, but do it in a way where they end up inside, so that I'm now safe here, and I can do this without them attacking me, because they're stuck inside and they can't seem to operate the door. So if they're inside, they're stuck inside. If they're outside, they're stuck outside. And I wanted to do it so that all of them were inside. Um, so I can do all of this and without them shooting at me and so I'm safe. Now what is interesting is this crawling animation actually seems to protect you from ammo. So supposing I um, didn't trap them in and they were outside here... Um, it seems that by crawling, I'm actually in, invulnerable to their shooting, and so you could have just gone on, on. You could have just gone in, seen to the monitor, and then just come out, just blank the people, and then do this and be shot, but not take damage, because that's literally all you had to do. When you crawl, you don't seem to take damage from ammo, or at least at that bit, you don't. They shoot at you, and you don't seem to lose health or anything. However, I consider that to be a glitch. So although that would although that would have been the easiest way to go about it, um, I consider it to be a glitch, and so that's why I didn't want to do it that way, because this is a glitchless challenge, and I consider it to be a glitch, and so I didn't want to do that. So instead, I did things the proper way, um, and I, it involved having to trap them inside, and it all was a bit pear-shaped, but I just about managed to do it, and that's the important thing. So we're up to the bio-research facility, and our kill count has doubled to two. That's the end, so thank you everyone for watching, and hope you enjoyed.